Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I'm starting off with this picture because this is how I feel. I want to go and hide under the bed and uh, yeah, I think, why did I start this? So yeah, um, I thought, right, before I start filming today, uh, I've got some unboxings to do. I've got some um, sort of tips and tricks videos to do and all sorts, all planned. I thought, right, I'll empty my drawer because I'm sick of looking for things. And you know when you empty something and you think, how on earth did all that lot fit in there? And how am I going to get it back in again? So that is the amount of uh, brushes that I have that need to go back in my drawer. Uh, yep, yeah, they were all in the one little drawer. That's my foam board, by the way, my huge foam board. Um, that is A1 in size, I think. So yeah, I need to try and sort that out now. So where that's going to live. Uh, yeah, that's my little trolley is absolutely full. I thought, oh, I'll do the trolley another day. That's my lights on the floor that I've tried putting up and keep falling over. And then I've got all this. Yeah, that's just paperwork. That just gets shoved over there. This is what all falls on top of me while I'm filming. I've emptied my little whatnot. Uh, this is all pens that were in the drawer and a few sort of Pergamano tools and things. And then all these things. And all these things and all these things and all of this went in that little drawer and now i've got to think of a tidy way to put it back in again um i did have sort of like um sort of cutlery dividers i had two and a half of those that's the half and two full ones but i found i was just putting everything on top so I thought, shall I start using my little sort of plastic boxes that I used to put everything in for my uh, card making? And then I'm finding that I can't get the lids on them because they're too full. <laughs> and this is just one drawer. And I've got all those drawers down there as well. That's my bin down there. Don't worry about my bin. So, yeah, this could be a mammoth task. But I am determined to get it done. So I'll keep doing little bits and pieces. I was going to film me doing it, but um, there's likely to be a bit of choice language, to be fair, and I don't really want to swear on my channel. <laughs> uh, it all started off because um, I've got my I've got my uh, little black and white whiskey bottle back from. Well, I've had it a while, actually, from my dad. You've maybe seen it in previous videos. Um, I did actually win this on a bottle raffle. And, uh, yeah, it's the black and white whiskey. And, obviously, it's got a uh, little Millie Moo on it. And I do have a little shot glass that matches this. And I thought, I'm going to put all my silver crystals in there. And I thought I had enough to fill it, but obviously not. So that's my next task to try and get this bottle filled. So as you can see, you know, there's there's plenty of room. Yeah, my dad's a big whiskey drinker, so it was my dad that dr drank all that. So that's on my window ledge. And then I, th I thought, oh, well, I'll, I'll just tidy my drawer out. And yeah, it's a definite, I wish I hadn't started that because now I've got to finish it because I can't film because this is the desk I film on. What am I going to do with all this? And as you can see, everything else is absolutely chocker as well. <laughs> It will all go way better, um, but it just needs organising better and it's having the time to do it. I've got all that up there as well uh, and all that up there and uh, that's the start of Owl Corner in here. Uh, that's been up a while. So, yeah, and then the floor. Can't really see the floor. <laughs> so watch this space. It will hopefully get tidied up a little bit better than it is now. Okay, see you in a bit. Hi, I'm back. So, part two of this. Uh, and I think I'll probably finish it and just do it part at a time because I don't know when I'm going to get around to doing the next tidying up. Uh, so, these are my Valentine's things that I've got out. So, happy Valentine's Day. Uh, yeah, that's, I think that was fan cells. Ooh, last year, no, not last year, year before, I think. I can't quite remember where he came from. Um, there are quite a few gnomes around. So he's the love gnome from last year. And I think these are possibly year before last. Uh, that's a hanger. So I've got that to go downstairs. And then this little sun catcher, which is these little uh, gonk gnomes, which are very pretty with the uh, little diamond or the big diamond on the bottom there. So, yeah, that's... Um, all the bits that I've got out for Valentine's and I've got a few more bits to do. Whoops, sneaky peek, that's the next video I'm doing. Oh, 
this is my desk now so I need really a, I could do with a shelf I think to put all my jars on I've got my jar of buttons and my various jars of crystals and things I've got my little clock which needs a new battery in so I have him on my desk that's the glow in the dark one that I did that's uh, really cute uh, these are I don't know whether I've ever shown you these these are a couple of stones that uh, one of my very clever friends painted uh, yeah, so that is Maisie, and um, that was our previous Scotty, and that is Millie Moe in her Christmas decorations. So yeah, she painted these onto stone for me. Some people are just so talented; that is absolutely gorgeous. So I keep these as like paperweights on my desk. So if I need to put anything uh, out and about, I do. So let me just put those over there. Uh, I got three drawers done. Now, it doesn't look as though it's been tidied out, but it has actually. So I've had everything out of the drawer, cleaned it all. So I've got scissors and things at this side with highlighter pens, glues, pens and pencils. Uh, these are all tweezers and um, they pick up brushes and things there. So lots of those. I forgot to use that in my last kitten up, didn't I? The little bottle holder. So I promise I will try and remember to do it uh, in the next one. Uh, my little stamps that I've got. Uh, tape measures and everything are in here. Um, I've got diamonds and gems in there. All my card making all my jewellery making things, sorry, card making, I've got card making on the brain. All my jewellery findings and everything are in there. Tape runners, uh, staple removers, that's a, an eraser that we got on piano ferries years ago. Uh, there are pencil sharpeners down there as well. So I've tried to sort of keep tooly bits together. Um, I've got all my pokey tools and things there as well. Underneath... Um, I can't quite see it is all my pergamano tools it's one of those things that i spent so much money on the proper pergamano tools if you don't know what that is it's like um making vellum and parchment into lace basically well not making it into lace but making it look like lace you emboss the reverse side and colour and things and I spent a lot of money on those and I'm a bit loath to get rid of them. I've got rid of all the cheaper versions that I got so I've just got the full versions now. Uh, yeah, got my business cards in there so I can start popping those into parcels and things. My little Scotty Dog stapler. Uh, tissues, always a must. Straightener, always a must. That's my new stapler that I got from Timu, the one that's a, um, a stapler stapler. And then I've got all my craft knives in here. Have to say, after all the craft knives I've spent thousands on, uh, my best one is still using a scalpel. Uh, obviously, be exceptionally careful. Uh, all the spare blades are at the back there, and that's the um, blade for my circle cutter at the back there. Uh, this is my um, like anti-static bag for when I'm doing rubber stamping or anything. Again, that was an awful lot of money, and I'm a bit loath to get rid of it. Because I wanted one for so long and I finally got one and yeah, I don't want to get rid of it. So that's in here. There's far too much in here. These are all my um, permanent markers and calligraphy markers in here. So there's all various sizes of nibs and things in there. All like uh, felt tip type things. Um, these are for, I know it looks a bit odd, but these are for like using my goo gone. So I've got some uh, cotton wool pads and some cotton wool uh, buds so that, you know, they're good for getting intri intricate bits and pieces. If you're taking sticky off things, I've got, uh, oh, that's just an experiment. I did just to show people that, uh, that syringes don't work with uh, gems in them yeah they're not going to pop out one by one it doesn't work so that's all those um, I've also got my syringes for my silicon glue and everything uh, this is all like um, my paper folders uh, my glue spreaders uh, another straightener there that's all the tips that go in the end of glues um, for and little caps to put on the end of glues and things uh, water sprays and water brushes are all in here as well yeah that's my empty syringes as I say I use these for silicon glue because I find it works better if I use it in one of these and it keeps about six weeks as long as you seal the cap it does keep in these for about six weeks it's once air starts getting to silicon um, then it starts to set and then these I can't believe how many paint brushes and brushes and um, applicators I've got so yeah 
Uh, that's the brush that I used um, for putting some sealer on. Look how soft that still is. That's a proper, proper Deca patch brush. So yeah, they tend to be the best quality. So yeah, I can recommend those. Uh, in here, I've got all like little tools, screwdrivers, little spirit levels and bits and pieces that have come with, look at all the screwdrivers. I've got little brushes and things and little spoons that I've got in various kits over the years. Again, I'm a bit loath to get rid of them. Uh, that's some little sticky notes I've got there. More brushes. Can't believe I bought those brushes when I already had that amount. That's what happens, you see, when you take everything out of somewhere and then you put it all together like with like, you suddenly think, oh my goodness, how much have I got? Uh, I've got little camera cleaners and um, glass cleaners there. And then I think this is all my, oh yeah, clock mechanisms. So, oh, and I've got some paper clips. Oh, and that's paper clips in there as well. And that's what's left over from that brush that I made. Don't know what I'm going to do with them, but I can't bear to throw them away. So that's all various spare hands uh, for clocks and things like that. So they're all in there. I've got my little cards in here. I got from Rebecca my little bookmarks and things there are all the spare ones in there as well I've got a metal edged ruler for when I'm cutting things so always pays if you're using a craft knife to have a metal edged ruler otherwise you're likely to slice your ruler in two uh, I speak from experience and then I've got some of my little good bags so these are all things actually that used to be on my desk uh, well not all but a lot of them were on my desk and I just decided I want them all in one place and I want them tidy. Now, how long this will actually stay tidy? I really don't know. But anyway, at least the drawer shuts. So when you hear that funny noise sometimes when I'm filming, it's this drawer here. Uh, that's all donation there. That's all um, pen, boat and wax and things. So, yeah, that's some empty containers that I've got that I'm either going to use or donate. They do need to be sorted out. There's, again, it's something else that I've held on to and held on to and thought I must sort those out and then I did this drawer as well so this is all my glues inks uh, Zyron roller and all the spares this is my pin flare glue gel lasts about eight to ten weeks sometimes longer if you keep it in the uh, tub uh, sorry if you keep it in here and keep it sealed um, so yeah various different things in there magic glue uh, book binding glue i'm going to be having a go with that shortly uh, glow in the dark paint which does actually glow in the dark so yeah i bought that for something a couple of years ago i still got it blackboard paint <laughs> Uh, chalkboard paint so i just uh, yeah what as i say what i'm trying to do is put everything like with like now i've got this stuck get that back in there so that i know what i've got because i'm buying duplicates of things because i can't find them that's my little xyron and then i've got all my, my little what they call stickles which are glitter paints um and glitter glues and things all in here and some embossing powders and pearls and all things like that. So, yeah, that's a, a liquid pearl. So when you put those on, they like form like a little blob rather than going flat. They stay sort of a bit 3D. So, yeah, there are things that I've, say, used in my card making and whether some of them will actually still work. I honestly don't know because, yeah, I've had them such a long time. So now are you going to go in there and is this going to shut? Yes, was the cry. Uh, and then this one um, is just, whoops, that's some more folders I've got. That's an empty box I need to find somewhere to put. Uh, oh, I wondered what I'd done with those. Yep, yeah, I was uh, using those. Uh, in here, I've got all my um, hangers and all the chains that come with the hangers and everything. So they're all in there. And then these are all the key rings that I've got from the various projects that I've done where I've not put the key rings on them or I've changed my mind about what I'm doing with them. So they're all in there. Uh, that's my cover paper. So the like waxy cover paper just fits in one of those little boxes, you know, that you get the 28 little square um, diamond painting story. One of those look so... Um, I found that I, ha I ended up with some of these. I used to use these all the time. I hardly use them at all now. Uh, so I've got a few of these to get rid of as well. Ugh. 
uh, yeah so if you've got these and the lids start popping up and you've bent them and you've squashed them and you've done all sorts with them and it's still not working then yeah just uh, as I said I just got rid of them um, I put them in the recycling whether they can be recycled I'm not sure but I mean they'll know at the place so uh, so yeah I just took them out the ones that I didn't uh, I couldn't use and put my cover paper in because it's just the right size for cover paper yay and then I've got uh, little pegs, I've got uh, beads, sort of odd beads, proper beads, you know, the holes through. Uh, I've got googly eyes, I've got card candy. Now this is from, I don't even know whether the company's still going uh, that made this, but they're basically like little um, dots of card and they look like little studs or little kiss pins uh, when you actually put them on something without actually punching through. Uh, so I'm going through card making now, aren't I? These are all my little, well, brads, kiss pins as we used to call them. So they're like paper things that you put through and uh, clip your papers together. But the great decorations, look, I've got lots of little dragonflies in there. They were always really cute, putting dragonflies on with a few little leaves. It was a way of fastening acetate to cards. Um, and then I've got another one in here as well. Oh, and then names. I've got one where I used to make uh, names out of clay and things. So, yeah, I've still got some of those left. Goodness me. We're getting a look at all my secrets at the minute. <laughs> Put those away. That just slots on top there. And then these are all my peel-off stickers. So these are, again, things I've had years. Um, I've possibly shown them before. These are all like lines and corners and things various different colours it's quite nice if you're doing cards or even diamond paintings if it's thin just to finish those off uh, then i've got letters so i can make up names and things uh, i've got christmas names and things daughter son um mother father all that kind of thing and uh, some more in there i think they're more couple ones you know to a special couple and all things like that and then i've got happy birthdays and i think that's relatives and I think the other ones like occasions and everything. So they're all just peel off stickers. So yeah, after all that, I've managed to get three drawers done. Oh, that one ain't gone back, has it? That one just wants to go back on top there. And then, yeah, I've just got my... Uh, <laughs> um, I've just got my Valentine's things. Oh, I did put all my buttons because I keep having lots of buttons. I have put them all in a jar. They're very dull colours, aren't they? I was hoping they'd look a lot more colourful. But anyway, that's one of these sweet jars that Hubby got at Christmas. Um, and uh, yeah, if I put diamonds in there, they're going to look like a bit dropped off, really, because I haven't got that many. So I thought I'll put my buttons in there. I may actually give those to a friend that... Uh, collects buttons and does a lot of dressmaking and crafting and things because with their best will in the world i just don't think i'm going to use those anymore and then i still have snow white on my desk here <laughs> so yeah i've still got my little snow white but there are seven dwarves on her little dress there and a red apple so yeah uh this is the end of this video for now then as i do a bit more tidying up and a few more things i will let you see but i'm gonna go um film a couple of videos and then i'm gonna go take these downstairs and put them on my halloween display uh add to it because uh, yeah i knew i had some somewhere and i found them yay go me <laughs> okay well uh, just a brief video so i hope you've enjoyed a sneaky peek and a little bit of a nose round uh well in three of my drawers anyway <laughs> okay uh, if you've enjoyed looking at these with me then as always a thumbs up is very much appreciated any comments or questions in the comments down below and i'll get back to you if you want to subscribe and join our little channel and see more of my craft room actually tidied, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up. So you're not going to miss anything. Yay! <laughs> okay, thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.